straight line, L1, as a gradient negative a half, and passes through the point this. Another line, L2, passes through the point this and this. Find the equation of L1 in the form of y is equal to mx plus c, where m and c are constants. So we have been given the gradient of L1. We have the point that is very simple. So gradient equal to change in y over change in x. So we take one the, point, the, the general point, which is x and y. So the points we have is x, y, this point minus 1, comma 3, and our, our gradient is negative a half. So we change in y, we say y minus 3 divided by x minus minus 1. And the answer is going to be negative a half. And negative that means a negative is going to be positive. The core positive. So we cross multiply this and that. We are going to have 2y minus 6 is equal to this times this will be negative x. Uh, this times this will be to be negative 1. Right? So write uh, 2y is equal to e gender pi takwa negative x. Negative 6 is equal to pi takwa plus 6. So takwa plus 5. Then we were told y is equal to mx. So we want y to remain on the left side. So you divide by 2 every term. So our final equation would be y is equal to minus 1 over 2x plus 5. 5 over 2. That is the final question, uh, equation of line 1. Hence, find the y-intercept of this. So whenever you write y equal to mx plus c, c is the y-intercept, m is the gradient. So for us to get the y-intercept in this equation, we just look at c. this is the gradient, this is c. So y-intercept equal to 5 over 2. Gradient of L2. So gradient 2, what line 2, what all in a pt equal 1, 3, negative 3, 4, 5. So the kwanza to not after to kuna point in biri, we first must get the gradient and then find the equation. So gradient equal to change in y over change in x. So we are changing 5 minus minus 3. So 5 minus minus 3 divided by x, which is 4 minus 1. Minus minus it equal 8 over 3. So the gradient is 8 over 3 of L2. The equation of L2 in the form of this. So we want to find the gradient the equation. So we take the general equation, the general point that is x, y. The gradient to connect on it 8 over 3. And then we take one of the points, either this or this. It depends on which one. So let us take this one, the second. So we are going to say y minus 5 divided by x minus 4 equal to 8 over 3, which is the gradient. So we solve that. We cross multiply. We are going to have 3y minus 15 is equal to my 8x, the 8x, minus that what? 32. 
minus 32. So let us select terms together. Kwa sababu tumepewa ax, so tuna make sure x itaanza, y ifuate, harafu si nchua tuweke mwisho si, e, zero. No, you must adhere uh, to the instructions given. If you write your own way, you get zero at the final answer. So, let us kwanza tututu, hii kikuja pande hii, itakuwa so itakuwa na 3y, hii kuja hapa itakuwa plus 32, so itakuwa na plus 17, equal to 8x. So, nataka tuleta hii pande hii, so itakuwa na negative 8x, hii kuja hapa itakuwa negative, plus 3y plus 17 equal to 0. So we have written this equation the form we were told. X in answer, Y in a fuata, C in a fuata, have 0 in a malizia. So, ukiono wezi waja hii neg ikiwa negative. This is as good as you introduce a negative in this equation. We will have negative 8 times negative 1. It, uh, we are going to have x, 8x. Negative times positive here itakuwa minus 3y minus 17 is equal to 0. Hata hii na hii bado iko sawa. Bado iko sawa. <coughs> the equation of a line, a line passing through a point like this and the perpendicular to, there is another line that is perpendicular to line 2 and it passes through this point. So if it is perpendicular to line 2, we know the relationship between perpendicular line. So let us get the gradient of that line. Let me even call it line 3. So L3 gradient here to tighta M3. So M3 times M2, the answer should be negative 1. But that is M3 times 8 over 3, which is this L2, the answer should be negative 1. So you realize that the gradient M3 it acquired negative 3 over 8, the reciprocal of that. So to show the gradient here, M3. Now, we, it is passing through, so we are going to say y minus 5 over x minus 0. The answer is negative 3 over 8. Cross multiply, we are going to have 8y minus 40 is equal to minus 3x. So to me ambiwa inform, to me ambiwa inform, so it, this one can be 8y is equal to minus 3x plus 40. Ni mechukua hii on this side. Ni mechukua hii on this side. And then now, we, what else? We can uh, do what? You can leave this here because you have to compare an instruction or you divide by 8 everywhere. So we are going to have y is equal to minus 3 over 8x plus Five. This one is also okay, and this one is okay. Kwa nini? Kwa sababu atu kuambiwa instructions kama hii, ama hii. Calculate the acute angle that the L2 makes with the x-axis, the acute angle. Anytime you are asked to calculate the acute angle of an, a line, get the gradient of that line. We can be calculate the acute angle of a line, get the gradient of that line. So once you get the gradient of that line, you should know that tan theta is equal to that gradient of that line. It's equal to the gradient. Sawa sawa. You and your formula. Tan theta is equal to the gradient of that line, whichever line you are given. So get the gradient of line 2. The gradient of line 2 is 3, is 8 over 3. Is 8 over 3. So we are saying tan theta is equal to 8 over 3. So to get theta, we are going to find the tan inverse of 8 over 3. Tan inverse of 8 over 3. And then you realize that your answer, theta is equal to 69.44 degrees.